Scientists have developed a new rocket fuel. Eco-friendly, high-efficiency hypergolic, i.e. capable of self-ignition when mixed, propellants have been the holy grail of space propulsion for decades. In recent months, engineers and scientists from Lukasiewicz Institute of Aviation have successfully completed a series of tests of a completely new rocket fuel. The propellant developed at Lukasiewicz ILOT is a safer alternative for personnel and the environment to the currently used toxic materials, hydrazine derivatives and nitrogen oxides. The developed combination uses hydrogen peroxide, 98% concentration as an oxidant and an innovative fuel inform the representatives of the institution the new fuel was created as a result of testing several hundred different combinations of chemical compounds the new fuel is characterized by high performance, a specific impulse in a vacuum of 310 seconds, as well as hypergolicity, i.e. the ability to Ignite after mixing the components in the combustion chamber. And this means that there is no need for additional ignition sources. This simplifies the engine design, allowing for multiple use. It may be as the representatives of the Institute hope, an ideal candidate for use in rocket engines for future satellite platforms. Landers and final stages of launch vehicles. The development of a new propellant is a long-term process and requires a number of interdisciplinary studies. The team achieved an important achievement that could ultimately reduce the cost of new propulsion systems and the cost of preparing satellites for flight. This step brings us closer to the fact that Polish fuel can become a standard in the missions of future generation satellites, says the director of the Center of Space Technologies in Lukasiewicz Institute of Aviation. Dr. N. Adam Oninsky. The fuel's high density could allow it to use smaller, lighter tanks and power systems than many other materials, the researchers hope. Another advantage of the Polish solution which the representatives of the Institute assure, 
is fast and repeatable ignition. Thanks to this, there is a chance for applications in small engines that require short and extremely precise pulses to control the position of the satellite. The material proposed by the poles, as it was emphasized, is available and used in industry. This means you won't have to follow stringent safety procedures compared to other propellants. Researchers hope that their idea will be used both in satellite propulsion, correction engines of satellites, and as propulsion for higher stages of launch vehicles, easy to turn the engine on and off multiple times during maneuvers required to reach the target orbit. So far, the Lukasiewicz ILOT team of engineers and scientists has conducted over 160 tests of the new fuel using a 20N engine designed for satellite propulsion, with a cumulative operating time of 2 minutes. The shortest engine startup lasted 10 milliseconds, which meets the requirements of satellites for the generation of short precise thrust pulses. Part of the engine tests were carried out as part of the 10 to 20 N green bipropellant thruster project awarded by the European Space Agency. Further work will focus on introducing this innovative technology into new systems and subsystems developed by key satellite integrators operating on the European and global market.